In Mirror 12.1 there have been some significant enhancements to the Curve Particle Generator. It now has a number of particle ID modes. So by default it's set to span each curve. So on this scene I have these replicas which are being coloured based on their particle ID. And there are four curves in this scene and it's treating each curve separately. But I can change that to span all curves and it's now going to treat all the curves as if they are one curve when it comes to colouring the replicas. And I can also change it to random, in which case it colours the replicas randomly based on their particle ID. It now has an exact distance point mode, so when you then change the point spacing it's going to ignore the end of the curve when placing the replicas, meaning the distance is much more accurate. You can now reverse the direction of the points and you're also able to add jitter so you can randomize the position of the points away from the curve you can randomize the position of the points along the curve you can randomize the rotation of the points and you can also randomize the scale of the points there are also some new alignment modes so by default it's set to automatic but you can tell the particles to look at a particular curve. So I set that to curve direction and then select a spiral. You can see they're all pointing towards that spiral. And if I move that spiral, the particles will update. And likewise, I can change it to mesh direction. Select a mesh. And then if I move that around, they'll always be pointing at that mesh. And finally, you can also align the particles to the mesh normal of any object in the scene.